A South African aquarium has reported that most of their rescue turtle hatchlings are excreting plastic. The turtles rely on uh, finding food that floats and because they cannot distinguish between food and plastic, they end up eating plastic waste floating in the ocean. And this has raised serious questions about the dire state of our oceans. We on Skaldon Ongmo reporting from Johannesburg. Take a look. These little turtle hatchlings are under rehabilitation in Cape Town's Two Oceans Aquarium. They may seem happy and full of life, but little do they know. Their lives could have been cut short if they were not rescued in time. Yeah, so far we have received 134 hatchling loggerhead turtles into our rehab facility. Of these, 50 have already passed plastic. And we have seen over 262 pieces of plastic be passed. This is on the way to becoming um, very similar numbers to what we had last season, where we had over 70% and over 530 pieces of plastic passed over the course of the season. Um, and this is a really, really serious problem. These hatchlings mistake plastic for food in the ocean as they drift with the current. Even though this is a very sad reality, um, it's also one that has hope in it because as humans, we've created plastic, we use plastic, and we can therefore also stop using plastic. And so what's important for us to remember is that every action we take on land is in some way going to impact on the oceans. So we can say no to plastic. We can reduce the amount of plastic we use, recycle it, um, and be responsible in how we you know, sort of throw it away. Um, and on all of these ways, our actions on land can work towards helping save turtles out at sea. These little turtle hatchlings may just be a small part of the huge problem with regard to the pollution in the ocean. But they show that decisions which we make on land can have a huge impact on marine life. Calden Ongmu, We On, World Is One. We On, now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.